In this video, I show you how to remove an image background in GIMP. If you are new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go and also consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure you will see you right until the end as I'm showing you how to do this on different types of images as well. So without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. I'm now on GIMP and let's go and continue with removing the background of some images. So the first picture I want to do is simply a white background and in the next one I'm going to do a more general background as there are different steps for me to complete. So of course the first thing we want to do is go and open up the image. So simply go to the top left we've got file and go and click on open just here and then you need to go and locate the image so mine is video.jpg and I'm going to go and click on open. Then wait for it to load and here we are. So once it's gone and opened up the image, the first thing you're going to want to do is simply go and go to layer just here. And then what you want to do is locate transparency and go and click on add alpha channel just here. And boom, that's what you need to do. Um, it's just part of the process essentially. Now because we've got a white background of this, it's a lot easier. So all you want to do is come to the left of your toolbar and you want to go and locate the fuzzy select tool. So click here, just like this. And what you want to do is go and click on the color you would like to go and remove. And it's gonna go and make a selection. And as you can see, these lines have gone and been selected. Now what this tool does if we highlight it, it goes and selects a continuous region on the basis of color. Now because it's all one color, it's gonna go and select it really easily. So once you've selected what you want to remove, then all you want to do is come to the top left where we've got edit just up here. And then all you want to do is go and see clear. You can also go and press delete on your keyboard and press it just like so. And boom, as you can see, the background is now clear and you can go and deselect by clicking select and go and click on none. And then once you're ready to go and export the file, then all you want to do is come to the top left where we've got file, and go and click on export as and then you want to make sure the file type is a PNG so simply scroll down until you can see PNG and let's go and jump into the next picture. So the next picture is a bit more complicated so this guide is going to be really useful so all you want to do is come to the top left you've got file and then you want to go and click on open once again and locate the picture so I'm going to go and find mine on my desktop and it's video 2. So I'm going to go and click on open just like so and here we go I'll just go and click convert and boom, here we are. So once again, you want to go and make sure you got your image ready and we want to go and click on layer and then go and locate transparency and go and click on add alpha channel. Now, what we want to do is we're gonna go and use a different tool this time. So come up to the top left, you've got our toolbar. And as you can see, you've got this free select tool. So all you want to do is go and click on it. Uh, you may have to hold down to find it, but it's the third one in and make sure free select is selected just like this. Now, what you want to do is actually go and click on the magnifying glass as well so we can zoom in a bit. So we can go and get this really precise. So zoom in just like so. And then to move up and down, you can use your mouse wheel and you can also use these um, sidebars here, which you can drag to move. Then once you're zoomed in enough, all you want to do is come to the toolbar and go and click on the free select tool, just like this. And you want to go and make a start. So I recommend starting from the bottom. So all you want to do is click here and then you want to slowly move up. And obviously the slower and smaller pieces you do, the more precise it's gonna be. So I'm gonna do small ones just like this. And honestly, you do get really used to it. And it can be easier if I zoomed in even more, to be honest, so I might do that in a moment. But all I'm gonna go and do is simply go and click all around the outside, just like so, and I'll catch up to you once I've finished. So I've just gone around my whole hand and then what you need to do is go and link them up. So as you can see, I'm just dragging it over here to the first one, I'm gonna click and boom, it's now gone and created this line. So I'm now gonna zoom back out. So to do that, simply go and click on view. So go on zoom and then go and click fit image in window, just like this, and here we go. Now, because I want to go and remove the background, what we need to do is invert this so we get the lines on the outside of the image as well and we delete the background. So to do that, simply come up to the top left and go and click on select, and then all you want to do is click on invert, just like this. And as you can see, we've now got lines going around the background as well. And then what you then want to do is come back to select and you want to go and click on feather, just like this, and make sure it's just default and go and click okay. And then what you want to do is come and click on edit and then we're gonna go and actually remove the background to simply go and click on clear and boom, the background is now removed. And to go and get rid of the lines, go and click on select and go and click on none. Then to go and export it, all you want to do is go and click on file and go and click export as. And once again, make sure the file type is saved as a PNG so you go and keep the transparency. So scroll down until you can see PNG just here and you go and export it. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.